Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. In this lecture, we are going to talk about X inactivation. In this series of lecture of genetics, we are discussing about some non-Mendelian inheritance patterns, some of the ideas which are really tricky to understand, but we will simplify it for you. So this is the first lecture we will be discussing about the X inactivation. What is X inactivation? Uh, An important properties of X inactivation, which are listed here in this slide, will be discussed in this lecture. So this lecture video will be in English. मगर कुछ कुछ जगह अगर complicated topic है उसको sum up करेंगे हिंदी में. So let's begin to talk about the different aspects of X inactivation. Before going into the different steps of X inactivation, I must share a simple process like fundamental idea of X inactivation. Now what is X inactivation and why we need it in organisms, particularly in mammals. What we know about mammal is that there are male and there are females. Okay. The males they have X and a Y, and the females have two X's. Right? So we are not bothered about the autosomes. Autosomes are the number of chromosomes that are present that code for all the somatic genes, not the uh, any of this inheritance pattern that is carried by the X and Y genes. X and Y, they are specific genes known as the sex genes that regulate the sexual characteristics of different organisms. That's why we are different. Male and females are different. But the thing is, in females there are two X's, right? And in male there is only one X. So as males have only one X and females have two X, that leads to a big problem. Now what is that problem? That problem is that the females will make two copies of each things because it has two copy of X so all the genes will be double so the product of the genes will be double in female compared to the male so the dose of a single gene if you count and measure the dose of a single gene it will be same in the male but in female the dose is double double dose is received so this dose is never allowed to be expressed double and in order to prevent it what we call as dosage Compensation. We compensate that extra dosage of an extra X in a female. Right? So we'll compensate that dosage. We call it dosage compensation. For that, what we do? Simply, we will inactivate one of that X. One of that X, one of the two X's in a female will be inactivated. In mammals, we are talking about mammals. So X inactivation is also known as dosage compensation. Works in the mammals. To inactivate one extra X. Now, which one between the two X is considered as extra X? There's nothing like that. Any of this X, either of the X, can be inactivated. There is no reason or logic still this point known uh, that is responsible to particularly inactive one X than the other. But there are some some uh, hypothesis, some theory out there which we'll discuss. When we continue this understanding, all right. So now we are going to talk about the different aspects of the X inactivation, where one of the X in a female mammal will be inactivated. Now, when I say inactivation, inactivation means what? Means basically we won't allow that X to be transcribed or translated on making proteins. We don't allow that. All right, so I'll take a different color now. I took uh, the blue color, and we'll be now discussing about the X inactivation. Where, in simple terms, we know one of the X, एक X को inactive करना है. Females में दो X है, males में one X, one Y है. तो females में double क्यों होगा? हर एक को हक सेम मिलना चाहिए. तो एक से एक को inactive कर दो. That is the X inactivation. Very basic words. Now, what are the important features of this X inactivation? इसका important features क्या? Important functions क्या? है? उसके बारे में यहाँ पे बात करेंगे देखो इंपॉर्टेंट कुछ फीचर्स होते हैं फंक्शंस होते हैं जैसे कि द एक्स इन एक्टिवेशन प्रोसेस की बात करें वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्स इन एक्टिवेशन प्रोसेस इन सिंपल वर्ड्स सो वन ऑफ द एक्स विल बी इनएक्टिवेटेड राइट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ इट इज इनएक्टिवेटेड हाउ द सेल चूज व्हिच एक्स टू बी इनएक्टिवेटेड सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट लेट्स इमेजिन देयर आर टू एक्सेस आउट देयर दिस इज एक्स नंबर 1 दिस इज एक्स नंबर 2 ओके नाउ बिटवीन द दिस टू एक्स वी आर गोइंग टू चूज ओनली वन वन ऑफ दिस एक्स विल बी selected to be inactivated now basically this x inactivation process take place at the early stage of the development so while the development occurs at the early stage 
randomly one of these will be selected so basically uh, this process goes like this so important properties list and in among these properties we select this one this process of x inactivation is random in nature it's random basically between x1 or x2 any of this x will be selected for inactivation now always when we see something we always ask a question why why that x why x1 let's say x1 will be inactivated but why x1 why not x2 to answer that what we know till now is that there is a specific gene inside of the x that gene actually regulates the process of x inactivation and that gene name is exist x i s t this is the gene name exist gene that actually regulate the process of x inactivation how because this exist gene it produces exist mrna exist mrna and once the exist mrna is produced this exist mrna what it will do is basically let's imagine that this is the x chromosome and the exist mrna uh, will take a different color to draw the mrna here okay so exist mrna it will wrap it will cover the x gene that need to be inactivated so exist mrna will cover it up that is m r n a the mrna exist mrna will cover it up and this exist mrna will recruit what it will recruit epistatic modifications and this covering of the exist mrna to the x chromosome will cause epigenetic modifications what kind of modification we are talking about we are talking about dna methylation or silencing of that particular part of the dna right and condensation of the dna as a whole so when we do the dna condensation chromosomal condensation will be done and that causes the condensed version of that x gene let's say in this case x1 gene to be inactivated i mean x1 chromosome to be inactivated that's how the x inactivation is done exist and one x chromosome may have multiple exist okay and this exist if we if we draw the chromosome structure something like this let's imagine that these are the two x's let's say one of them carries four x five exist here this one carries only two exist so this is x1 this is x2 so from this what we can say what we can comment that the between two x the x with more exist has higher chance of being condensed higher chance of being inactivated to dono x mein se jis x mein zyada exist hoga usko hum kehte hain x inactivation center we call it x i c or x inactivation center to dekho yahan pe dono x mein se x inactivation center zyada hai x1 mein to x1 will be condensed high chance of condensation high chance of inactivation so x i c or x inactivation center plays a vital role in terms of determining which x will be uh, inactivated but during development the first x that need to be inactivated is chosen randomly so this process works randomly and it is controlled by exist gene where the exist is going to recruit and make more exist mrna which will cover the x chromosome and then the uh, then the inactivation will be done and once there is a condensation so i can write it as condensation the condensation stage we see it something like this so this is the nucleus in the nucleus we find out highly condensed chromosome at one point or at one site okay rest of the other chromosomes can be visible normally but this one is highly condensed that highly condensed structure inside the nucleus will be known as bar bodies bar bodies okay so that is known as bar bodies. the highly condensed inactivated form of the x is visible as the dot high condensed structure known as the bar body here so this information is clear now we understood one thing that x inactivation is crucial is important for the dosage compensation 
X inactivation is done by exist and which one to be uh, which X to be inactivated determined by the XIC X inactivation center and there are some involvement of other proteins and genes as well but this process is not very well understood till now what we need to understand now is the maintenance of this X inactivation so X inactivation to ho gaya kisi X mein se koi bhi X ko randomly pakad lo usko inactivate kar do fine koi baat nahi koi dikkat nahi abhi uske baad jab cell divide karega tab X inactivation kaise progress hoga iske bare mein jankari chahiye so how exactly the X inactivation will be maintained from one cell to the next from mother cell to the daughter and and to the next generation to the next generation we need to find it out so that is known as the maintenance of the inactivation maintenance how the maintenance will be done how the maintenance of inactivation can be done to answer that i can tell you the maintenance process remains very easily very straightforward whatever x that is inactivated in the mother from that cell onwards not about the organism mother the mother cell from that mother cell whatever daughter cells are produced they will be inactivated and this x inactivation will continue to the process of every single somatic cell for every single somatic cell this modification is true so the x inactivation process is done in the somatic cell of the body somatic mother cell let's say x1 is inactivated so the next generation will have uh, the same x1 to be inactivated so let's imagine this that this is our cell okay and in this cell what we have uh, there are i mean inside the nucleus we are talking about a nucleus so we are only drawing these two things so x1 x2 first during development inactivation is random in nature due to random inactivation x2 remains x1 gets condensed right then afterwards this is the mother cell from this mother cell whatever daughter cell is produced in the daughter cell also the same situation will be repeated same situation will be repeated simple somatic cell division somatic cell division same x will be inactivated that is x1 and x2 remains normal this is known as the maintenance of x inactivation now apart from that one important concept remains that is among all the genes that are present in the x chromosome are all the genes inactivated what do you think not all the genes are inactivated well most of the genes in fact almost every single genes are inactivated apart from some genes they are known as pseudo so basically i'll move to this i'll move to the previous slide again exceptions to the x inactivation there are exceptions made in the x inactivation these are known as pseudo x pseudo x chromosomal gene means basically the x chromosomal gene means the genes that are present in the x chromosome and the expression of which are needed right now that's not the answer to it is no not all the genes are inactivated in the x basically almost all the genes almost all the genes in the x chromosomes are inactivated except for few because if you look at the x chromosome most of the regions of the x chromosome is known as pure x chromosomal gene and there are few portions of this gene known as pseudo autosomal pseudo autosomal genes the pseudo autosomal genes that are present in the x chromosome so pseudo autosomal genes kyun pseudo pseudo means it's not complete completely x chromosomal completely autosomal they are little bit autosomal little bit x chromosomal that's why pseudo autosomal gene mainly their function is for autosomal purpose but they are present in the x chromosome those are few genes which are active which remain active because they need to be active because at the time of x and y you know uh, in the time of formation of the gametes okay at that moment 
the separation and transfer of the x and y is very important and also if one of the gene is inactivated is fine in the somatic cell but while they form the gamete all the x need to be in a normal active state so uh, x which is condensed need to push back to the active state in order to form the gamete at that moment also and x y differentiation as well also we need some of the protein product which are the product of the pseudo autosomal genes okay x y coupling and decoupling in that process we are not going to talk about that details here but we need some of the proteins the gene of which is known as pseudo autosomal gene and they are present in the x chromosome those pseudo autosomal genes from x chromosomes those are active even though x inactivation is going on in any particular x for example this is x inactivated form this is x inactivated form but among this x inactivated form also we have pseudo autosomal genes which will remain active because they will help them in a specific, very very crucial and important process they help them to to conduct a process that is xy pairing xy chromosome pairing and xy chromosome pairing is an important event that takes place in the meiosis cell division during the recombination of the dna at that moment xy pairing is needed and this pseudo autosomal genes and the product of which are needed for that part that's why they keep they kept active otherwise the reversal is not that easy so that's the idea of x inactivation process and depending upon the x inactivation you may see different examples like cat calico cat where the coat colors are different okay for example as we have seen this in a somatic cell i can see a, so give me a, let let me take a color here at this moment and i'll i'll show you this idea that this is the brown color calico cat brown and black what we clearly see is that uh, in the skin there will be patch of brown and there are places where the patch is of black okay so i'll draw this uh, this as well you can see there is patch of brown there is patch of black there are some patch which are of black now what we can clearly state from here is that there are two types of x and the expression of so x chromosome is not only involved in the process of sexual characteristics and and modifications but also some sort of physical characteristics because the change is also in the every single somatic cell so let's imagine there are two x one carrying brown another uh, i mean let's say in this case we write it uh, as x b and this one x b l for black so what we know is that here in this red one x b l is inhibited i mean they are inactivated and in this case x brown or b r is inactivated so when x b r or brown is inactivated it will express only x black when x black is inactivated it will express x brown that's how it works bahut simple si baat hai calico cat mein dekh sakte hain ki cat ke jo coat color hai wahan pe na white ke upar red aur black ke dots तो रेड मतलब वहां पे रेड कलर का कैरिंग जीन जिस एक्स में है वो एक्टिव है ब्लैक कलर वाला इनएक्टिव है जहां पे ब्लैक आ रहा है ब्लैक वाला एक्टिव है रेड वाला इनएक्टिव है दैट्स हाउ सिंपल इट इज दैट्स हाउ इजी इट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द एक्स इनएक्टिवेशन प्रोसेस आल्सो नोन एज डोजेज कंपेंसेशन डोजेज दिस पार्ट ऑफ एक्स इनएक्टिवेशन इज ऑनली ट्रू फॉर मैमल्स एंड फॉर एवरी सिंगल सोमैटिक सेल बट द रियलिटी इज दैट इन अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑल्सो द एक्स इनएक्टिवेशन और द आइडिया ऑफ डोजेज कंपेंसेशन इज स्टिल फाउंड in drosophila also and c elegans also there are different approaches for that uh, so we'll discuss that in a separate video otherwise but this is the idea of x inactivation if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe so get all these videos in your subscription feed thank you bye